Hey guys, welcome to the first episode of the Squad Saver series where we build squad based on nationalities. And today in the first episode we got a team what is Morocco. You maybe already know some players but I highly can guess that they are mostly attackers or midfielders. And that's because this team does have a very bad defense and a pretty good attack. Um, by the way this team cost me something like 13,000 coins or something. But that's mostly to one player only. So let's jump in the team what we got for today. We play in a 4-3-3, a formation that I love to play with. No Moroccan manager or at least I couldn't find one. So I just picked up this guy in the correct formation. Going on to our goalkeeper, there's only one keeper who is from Morocco. Uh, it's this guy Khalid Sinou from PSV Eindhoven in the Eredivisie. This guy does have some bad stats, but although he saved me quite a lot, the only lie on this card is his positioning, what is 70. Because when I come out of my goal and I decide to go back, then he might leave some gaps open, so the opponent can score very easily. But I picked him up for 200 coins, so it can't go wrong with that. And he's out of formation because there were only two of him on the market. And no way I'm gonna apply such a bad keeper, uh, expensive formation card. Moving on to our left back, we got El Kaduri from Celtic. Decent stats for a wing back. Uh, 82 pace, 74 passing, also 70 defending. His shooting really lets me down and that's a shame because you find him much up front or making runs from the back. But still it's a pretty good player and for sure the best left back from Morocco. And I picked him up for a thousand coins too. Then we move on to our two central defenders. We have a silver and a gold one. The silver is El Cuatra or something like that. And the other one is Benatia from Udinese. He is actually quite good. Um, I didn't know or played with him before. But this defender was pretty hard to get past to. Uh, and I faced a bunch of good attackers. 68 pace what is well okay for a center back. 82 defending and 79 heading. Then El Kouazwe from Montpellier in the league 1. Also 68 pace, 74 defending and 71 heading. But he's doing the job, sorry. And I picked him up for 150 coins and I bought Benatia from 900 coins. And then our right back, we can better pass him. This guy is so bad. Ahmed Ami or something, also from the Dutch league. He's just invincible in a match and that isn't nice because my midfielder or other defenders have to fill up his place. I don't know where he is on the pitch and he has already been a couple of times injured but yeah, let's moving on to the bright side, the midfield. I love this midfield and that's why I chose for the 4-3-3 formation. Let's take a look at who they are. First up is the team of the year Karim El Amadi. Plays for 5 in the Eurodivisie as well. Cost me 20,500 coins. But that's just onerous price in this formation. Otherwise you can pick him up for like 70,000 coins. He plays well. His stats aren't that great. But he helps the defense in a positive way. The other center midfielder was Belhanda from Montpellier. Uh, so he links up well with El Cuatre. He got a great finesse shot. 4 star skill moves. What is for me very nice for a midfielder. 78 pace, 79 shooting, 82 passing and 85 dribbling and he's doing quite well for his price. I paid 2000 coins for him and let's move on to the skiller of this team. The other midfielder who is Adel Tarab from Queen's Park Rangers. I didn't get him as, as a central midfielder because his default is a center attacking midfielder and there is an informed version of him who is a left winger. 81 pace, 76 shooting and 87 dribbling. But it's kind of negative that he has uh, to defend because Ami is everywhere where he doesn't need to be on the pitch. But although it's a very tasty player to play with. And I recommend him because I only bought him for 800 coins. He got 5 star skill mood and 5 star weak foot as well. So that's very nice. Then on to our right winger Labiat from PSV Eindhoven. The same team as our keeper. Fun player but not best. I thought he had 4 star skill moves that isn't. I think I overpriced a bit for him. 900 coins is really too much for his abilities. 
Then our left winger, also a player from the Dutch league, Asaidi. Um, 78 pace, 84 dribbling. What includes 4 star skill moves and I already got some goals with him. I know you see 0 games played, 0 goals, but I played some games after I record this. And the goals that I scored with him were by cutting inside. And his shot is there to make a goal. On to the last player, Marwan Shamak from Arsenal. I also never played with him, but he isn't that bad as I thought. A good shot, a good header, not the fastest maybe, but when you have two pacey wingers around you, you don't need that much pace. I scored mainly by headers or long shots or shots out of the box with him. Picked him up for 900 coins, so it can't also go wrong with him. Um, maybe you guessed some players when I mentioned that this team was about Morocco. Busufa maybe a left winger from An Anzi. In the Russian league, Elhamdoui from Ajax, who was transferred to Fiorentina last month, or Haji from Stade Rene, or much other players. So, if you want to build a Moroccan team, please make a hybrid and find a solution for the defense, because that side is very bad. But there are at least enough players where you can build a team around. So, let's take a look at some goals that I made for this team in just two games first one is from Shamak, what I said, his heading is very good from El Kaduri's corner, he headed it in quite nicely and the second goal here, Shamak with through ball to Arab nice skill run with the Rabona at the end to keep the ball in and he finished it well from a difficult angle with a finesse shot uh, here going with Asaidi, I didn't know what I was doing here, I thought I'm gonna pass the keeper but he didn't came out and when his shot was deflected uh, El Amadi picked it up gave it to Shamak and no way a single striker is gonna miss such an opportunity and then take a look at this goal Shamak shooting stats weren't that good but look at this rocket right into the top corner maybe I'm gonna do an affordable awesomeness on him because this guy has a pretty good uh, shot pretty good other stats and is a complete striker and here's a nice combo of Asaidi and Belhanda. Glad to have those two on one side. And finally Asaidi finished it with the finesse. And there also Belhanda shows what he can do uh, with his right foot. Also a nice finesse to get a goal. And here another corner, this time no Shamak but El Quatre, a nice header and it's always nice when a uh, defender scores what you also see here. Benazia with the interception, nobody tackles him so uh, he just passed the whole pitch and with some luck I have to admit he'd, he finished it. And yeah guys that will do it for today, the first episode of the squad saver, I hope you liked it. Please like if you do and subscribe and then I'll see you the next time. Bye guys.